You know, one of the things I see with readers who are um, unsophisticated and intellectually arrogant is they'll read someone great. Maybe they'll read Nietzsche, for example, and they'll find the odd thing that Nietzsche said that grates against their current moral sensibilities, um, whether they do that in context or out. And then they'll throw away the whole book. It's like, you don't throw away the whole book. It was Nietzsche. You don't throw away the book. He's like one in a billion. You read it carefully and you think, well, okay, no to that. But yes to this. And you do the same thing with Dostoevsky. And you do the same thing with Tolstoy. You do, you do the same thing with the great writers of the past that have been passed down to us. You, you read intelligently. You separate the wheat from the chaff, right? And you gain wisdom that way. Well, you do the same when you look at your own history. It's like, well, of course it's a bloody nightmare. What, what do you expect? It's like, what's your point? We're going to, we're going to burn it down and, and then we're going to have something better as a consequence? Well, not so easily, not so quickly. Maybe we read our history carefully. And we think, okay, well, what did we get right? Well, what did we get right? Well, the sovereignty of the individual, that's pretty good. The fact that you have right to property, that's pretty good. You can argue about the limits on that, but you know, you don't want someone just taking your purse. You know, it's, it's, it's helpful that there are things that you can earn and own. You know, the dignity of the individual, that's another one. Um, the innocence before the law, God, that's, that's a miracle that we ever came up with that idea. I, I can't believe that that idea exists because in most cultures it's like, well, you might be guilty, okay, you're dead. Because, well, that's easier, you might be guilty, you know, why go through all the trouble? There's plenty of people where you came from. It's like the trouble of presuming your innocence, it's innocent, it's even hard for you to do that for yourself. And, and, and the idea that, that each person has an intrinsic worth regardless of their, well, externalities, let's say. That's another idea that's a complete miracle. It's like, well, what, are we, what, what are we gonna do? We're gonna throw all that away with the statement that we live in an oppressive patriarchy. And then we're gonna be left with nothing. And, and, and what, what good is that? Well, how about we look at our history and we take responsibility for it. We think, okay, well, here's some things that need to be fixed. There's plenty of them. Right? There's plenty of them for each of us to fix. And we'll go fix them. And maybe then we can atone for the bloodiness of our history and for our so-called unearned privilege, you know? Some of which all of us have. And, and that would be good. That would be part of the adventure of your life too. And that's, that's a far more sensible and wise approach to the diagnosis of what's wrong with the West than well, it's an oppressive patriarchy and it should be overthrown or whatever that, you know, current uh, low resolution and resentful ideology happens to be. You have intrinsic value. And even if you do something terrible, let's say, and I still have the, the conviction that you have value, then it's incumbent on me to say, well, you did something terrible, but you aren't necessarily something terrible. And it might be possible for you to shed that and to atone and to rejoin those who are good. And that's something too, and that's built deeply into our political and economic and justice systems. And it's, it's no time to be abandoning this, you know? Especially when you look around the world, you see as it's spreading, and it's spreading quite rapidly, everywhere it's spreading, things are getting way better. So enough crisis of confidence in the West. Like, we've got our house to put in order, there's no doubt about that, but I see no reason why we can't do it, unless we lose faith in ourselves. And, and there's reason for that, like, life is brutal, there's reason to lose faith, but not in the final analysis, it's, it's a mark of... It's a mark of malevolence and cowardice, to lose faith.